Welcome to Elaine Clark VO Real Talking Tips, where it's all about communication. I'm the author of There's Money Where Your Mouth Is, a complete insider's guide to earning income and building a career in voiceovers, and voiceovers for podcasting, how to develop a career and make a profit. I'm also the creator of two Elaine Clark apps, Activate Your Voice, Five-Minute Exercises to Strengthen Your Speaking Voice, and Adding Melody to Your Voice, Speech Improvement Instruction and Workout. This first series of micro-learning lessons is 52 weeks, so subscribe and tune in each week to Real Talking Tips for a new communication lesson. Episode 22. Add Tempo Changes. Jazz up the speech tune with the power of the pause. Anticipation. Wait for it. Moments are powerful. Why? Properly placed pauses engage the audience so they become active listeners. Hi, I'm Elaine Clark with another Real Talking Tips speech communication microlearning lesson. Remember the Charlie Brown cartoon specials and how the teacher's voice sounded? From Charlie Brown's perspective, his teacher only said, wah, 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 wah. That same droning monosyllabic speech pattern can sound like that to us too. Nonstop talking can easily fade into our ears as background noise. So rather than giving the listener a chance to tune out and let their mind wander, find an opportunity to sprinkle in some pauses. A well-placed pause can stimulate the listener's mind to think of the answer and fill in the blank as the speaker completes that thought. Pauses can change passive audiences to active listeners who feel included in the dialogue. As a result, a simple well-placed pause can stimulate active listening and better retention of the information. The power of the pause. How to speak so people will listen. Singers and musicians know the importance of rhythm and tempo changes in a song. That's especially apparent when the tune shifts from the verse to the familiar repeatable chorus. A few episodes ago, in Real Talking Tips episode 17, we discussed how to be a sing-talker. Adding pauses is another way to change the tune and speak so people will listen. When I interviewed podcasters for my book, Voiceovers for Podcasting, the recurring theme from the experts was, add pauses, because listeners need time to process the information. A perfectly placed pause is like waiting for the slot machine result. The coin goes in, the spinning motion is activated, and the gambler waits to see if the pictures line up to win or lose. So where should pauses be added? There are three main areas to add pauses. First, pauses can create a dialogue with a listener whenever there are unknown multiple choice answers. For example, the answer is green. Be sure to attend the 10 o'clock meeting. Yesterday, you listened to Latin jazz. Let's meet at the grocery store. Today's guest is Jane Doe Allen. Second, comedians use pauses to get a laugh. <laughs> An example, my son's name is uh, John. Oh, I, I, I mean Jay. And third, a dramatic or pregnant pause that lasts three to seven seconds, adds impact. You've been waiting for it, and it's finally here, introducing the Smart Gadget. Let's explore how you can add pauses in this next workout section. Add tempo changes. Jazz up the speech tune with the power of the pause. The focus of Real Talking Tips episodes 18 to 22 is tempo changes in speech. So far, we explored sentence structure variations, alternating slow, medium, and fast paces, speeding up on lists, and slowing down on good information, and speeding up or throwing away bad information. This last tempo change mini-series episode focuses on jazzing up the speech tune by strategically adding pauses. Pauses can be used to activate the listener, add impact, anticipation, drama, comedy, and memory retention. Pauses are also helpful when shifting focus from one topic to another. Please keep in mind that pauses are not full stops 
where the mouth closes and the speaker disengages momentarily. There you are again. Purposeful pauses should be filled with emotion, energy, and air. The following is a paragraph demonstrating how various pauses can be used. I suggest that you read the paragraph three times. First time without pauses, the second time with short pauses, and the third time with perfectly placed pauses. Remember that adding a pause does not mean that the speaker quits working. Quite the contrary. The pause should be filled with emotion that rides on the breath to connect the elements of the statements together. So don't stop. Close the mouth and quit feeling when you see a dot 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 comma dash colon or semicolon. Keep the air, attitude, emotion, and opinion flowing. For practice purposes, we'll use one of the scripts from my other book, There's Money Where Your Mouth Is. Record or video yourself reading the three versions so that you can watch, listen, and review the different speech styles. Here's the first example without pausing. Stop what you're doing. You're about to experience the most amazing product ever, the Elliptical Express. Using Euclidean geometry, Directrix has created a new way to calculate quantum effects. It uses hypertrochoid and electromagnetic radion. Genius, right? And it's all right here on our new patented device. Whew, that was hard. Here's the next example with full stop pauses, complete with mouth noises. Stop what you're doing. You're about to experience the most amazing product ever, the Elliptical Express. Using Euclidean geometry, Directrix has created a new way to calculate quantum effects. It uses hypertrochloid and electromagnetic radion. Genius, right? And it's all right here in our new patented device. Kind of annoying, right? Now I'm going to read the same script again. Stop what you're doing. You're about to experience the most amazing product ever, the Elliptical Express. Using Euclidean geometry, Directrix has created a new way to calculate quantum effects. It uses hypertrochloid and electromagnetic radian. <laughs> Genius, right? And it's all right here in our new patented device. Be sure to practice this exercise and read the script too. But first, let me draw awareness to what I just did. I added a longer, dramatic pause after, stop what you're doing. Then I set up the second sentence for the audience to consider which multiple choice answer. You're about to experience the most amazing product ever, the Elliptical Express. On the next sentence, the story transitions from the announcement to specific details. Therefore, I took a breath to change to a more appropriate descriptive tone and attitude. Also, because Directrix is the parent company, I added a slight pause before and after the client's name. Be mindful that these bookend pauses need to be very subtle. Using Euclidean geometry, Directrix has created a new way to calculate quantum effects. I then took a comedic pause to add a slight chuckle to fill the pause before <laughs> genius. So it sounded like this. It uses hypertrochloid and electromagnetic radian. <laughs> genius, right? The final question sets up the final clarifying sentence. And it's all right here in our new patented device. So you see, pauses have just as much importance as voiced words. Thanks for being part of the Real Talking Tips community, where the goal is to understand, explore, practice, and improve speech. And no hard work goes without recognition. Congratulations on completing the five-part Add Tempo Changes series. Next episode, we'll explore the voice power box. See you then. Thanks for joining me on the Real Talking Tips podcast. To find out more, Check out my books and apps and visit my website, elaineclarkvo.com. Let's stay in touch. Become part of the Real Talking Tips community. Hit the subscribe button and use hashtag Real Talking Tips, hashtag ElaineClarkVO. You can also follow me on Twitter at ElaineClarkVO, Instagram, ElaineClark.VO, and Facebook, Elaine Clark Apps and Books. And don't forget to practice. It's all about communication.
go ahead, click the subscribe button.